Well, good morning. This is my new phone recording. I got a bunch of... <laughs> got another one, too. And I got two more over there. Come over here, Daddy. Come on, jump, jump. I had to put a stop to Big Boy picking on Orton. And I found out how to do it. He scared to death with this damn taser. All you gotta do is make a noise, and he goes and hides. Apparently, they can feel that electricity through the air. I guess with all that hair, you can. And it makes a hell of a noise. Them tasers do. He didn't get scared of water anymore. I said, I squirt you some water, and he didn't care. So he's scared of that. Uh, I'm going to my sugar level. Come on, jump to daddy. The dogs got me up. I don't know what the hell the problem was. They all went outside. Maybe that was it, and they all got a treat. Maybe they just wanted a damn treat. Wake me up for just a treat. Well, my land out there is burning all around it. The Monument Fire and the Dixie Fire. I'm on Trinity Road, so it's pretty well safe. Well, it's 154. That ain't bad. I mean, it's only four points above 50. 150, I mean. It like it's 300. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, dog. That's what he's telling me. Whatever. I got my treat, didn't he? He said. <laughs> yeah, they say this, this thing here has got one terabyte SD card. And a whole bunch of pixels and a whole bunch of memory and a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of. It's the best thing that Motorola's got. And this is the best thing Samsung's got. And then my two old phones over there. And my little zapper. Plugs in. Yep, see that. Let's see. Oh, hell, I'm plugging it. <laughs> Uh, maybe that there, yeah, see? It needs to be charged. This thing here don't want to charge right. Uh, there you go. I have to turn it just right to get it in there. And then you t I'm not going to turn it on because the dogs are screwed at it. And I can't blame them. i got to take a heart medicine this morning. I might as well take it all. Take it all, lucky. I don't need a mat for them. I'll take a cholesterol. Blood thinner. Heart medication. My vitamin. Big as a horse pill. And my B12, and I ain't taking another stuff on the bottom yet. One, two. There are a thousand milligrams, I think two thousand milligrams a day of B12. And my Maltol and my stomach pill. Now I'm all set. I have break what this thing has. Got where I break these things up, it's easier as war. But, uh, we jump up here, Daddy. Daddy. They say this has got the, one of the best cameras on the market, and it's G5 or whatever. Whatever the hell they call that. Uh, didn't need the damn thing, but I got it anyway. I got all the networks covered. Keep them on. <laughs> they got screen protectors on them. Insurance. Uh, 
SD cards. This one here's got one terabyte. This has got half a terabyte. Let's go down. We had one terabyte and it's chomp. Now I can just figure out how to use the damn things. Come here to daddy. Come here, daddy loves you. I won't shoot too much. <sighs> Got all these damn cords. Try to charge up this damn flashlight. Come on, jump, jump. Uh, tired already. You woke me up at 2.30 in the morning at 3 o'clock. Half of them went back to bed. <laughs> Crazy dogs. They got, they got a cover like this, and then it's also got a cover like that on top of it, and then it's got a screen protector. There you go. You can run this sucker backwards. It goes in this way. Yep. You can clip it over the. It turns. And then this side here has got a little deal. It goes up. That's what the other one. This one's black and the other one's red. This is Samsung, that's Motorola, and then that one's, I don't know what the old ones are, uh, one's, uh, yeah, I don't know, Verizon and Pioneer, AT&T, and Cricket, I think that's what it is. I got it all covered up. Uh, that was the stop to it. Let's see if these damn shit's gonna work. Yeah, I've been watching that fire out there in California. Eh? Burning down the Trinity River. If you want to the truth. No, thank you. I'll stay here for a while. I'm going to go to Nevada. I want to go to Santa Fe and see what they got up there in Santa Fe in New Mexico. I wasn't going to go to Carlsbad, but it's too damn hot. It's about 102 here. I've been staying in the house and then riding an air conditioned car. Yeah, this one. The problem there is it's got a credit card deal where you can put your credit cards in it. This one here, I guess you can put it behind the thing. That other one over there is actually made for credit cards. I'm going to see how good it shows up. My lighting ain't the best in the world. Just tired. I paid all my bills up for this month. Well, about time into the month, 26 today. Jump, 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 Daddy. Daddy's got a earache this morning. Maybe I slept the wrong one. Chris went and did laundry yesterday. I didn't feel like doing it. He, I still ain't got a dryer. I got a dryer, it just don't heat, don't get hot. Well, don't get hot, hot. It gets hot, but not really hot. 
And I've had it for ever since Chris was a baby, well, 40, 50 years. <laughs> I guess it's wearing itself out. I had an old Ford washing machine once. It didn't agitate like this. It jumped up and down. It eat the hell out of baby socks and women's underwear. It beat them up to nothing but gone. But boy, it would wash Levi's, let me tell you. It would wash canvas clothes, duckings. It was heavy duty. And then Chris was a baby we bought washer and dryer. There in yonder. Then we hell were they? Maytag or something like that? Hell they run fifty years. Shit don't run for fifty years now. Nothing lasts for fifty years. Get that right away. You don't even last for fifty years. I'm, like hell appliances. Uh, I can remember when my wife bought the new stuff, and it was funnier than hell. Uh, it quit working. It was electric. And they came out and said, uh, Mr. Lawson, uh, what's wrong with your stove? So it would have quit. So, but apparently she burned out the heating element or something like that. And they said, well, now, Miss Lawson, uh, you're just using it too much. And boy, she got hot. And she said, well, that's what a stove's for. She said, now, most people just heat up some soup on the top or, or you know, uh, you know, like a microwave, whatever, and, or cook some little old light, uh, you know, bacon and eggs or something. Or Kathy baked bread and everything. How she kept that thing going from daylight to dark? And she, they said, well, stoves ain't made to last, uh, use every day or something like that. They said to her, I laughed my ass. I said, oh, you said the wrong thing to her. She said, well, what good is it if you can't, <laughs> if you can't cook with it? <laughs> They didn't intend to her to cook all day long. <laughs> yep, so they didn't intend her to cook all day long. She was quite a cook. Austrian cook. Oh. They cook like the Germans do. My mother was a good all-around cook. She cooked turtle soup, some real turtles. Now the best chef cook was my Aunt Belle. I, I stayed with her a lot. She showed me how to cook a lot of good stuff, mainly sweets. She's a big old heavy set woman. She probably weighed 230 to 245, something like that. She's a big woman. She's about six foot one. Big old Irish woman. Irish gypsy. That woman could cook, man. I ain't lying. She married some of the richest men in California. California, I. She married them that had ski resorts. She married them that had lettuce fields in the south. She's married seven times, and they all died. She married one that owned an oil refinery, and none of them but the first husband she had, they had never had any kids, and that never was married. Uh, I think one of them was married and divorced when he was young, but he, uh, he never had no children. And she had plenty, she had 22. And, uh, and she was a good looking woman. So she married all them rich men and left her biggest part of California eh, from the, uh, up there in the damn uh, ski resorts in the north and, uh, to the lettuce patches in the south and oil refineries out to the coast. And she owned uh, all kinds of damn shit. I remember one guy, he, she lived on the mountain up around Middletown. You can look it up on the damn map, people. Uh, it's up by past Napa, right around Napa. 
There are lower light and clear light. I went to school up there a hundred years ago. Uh, she uh, had an old cabin. She raised goats. She had moved to the mountains and was raising goats. And she had hundreds of the damn things. They just run wild over there. Boy. Well, the old boy had a, a ski resort up there. And a spa and all that crap. He uh, got acquainted with her. He's buying goat cheese and stuff off of her for the for the restaurants in the in the swanky place. And uh, she delivered and all that crap. And anyway, he got acquainted with her and married her. And she wouldn't move off the damn mountain. And uh, he went up there and built her a house over the top of that two room cabin. But she wouldn't move out of it. And then he took down, he talked her into taking down a little section of wall in the kitchen. And now she had an old fashioned kitchen and a modern kitchen back in, the, back in the 60s. I think it was the 50s or 60s. And uh, she had an old wood stove there and everything else. And uh, she liked her old, the old kitchen. She made bread pie, which is basically a pizza, but it's a damn big pizza, square, about that thick. Look like more like a damn lasagna, but she called it a meat pie. Look like pizza to me. And he was really good to her. And he died. And then, let's see, she moved to the south. Around uh, Broy and Westmoreland, down by the Air Force Base. That was in the 40s. Yeah, maybe it was back in the 40s. Tell her. But anyway, she moved down south. And uh, by the Air Force Base, which now they call it Slab City. And I went to school down there in Broy. And uh, I stayed a lot with my aunt because I left home to you. I went back to live with her when I was 14, when I was 14 and 10 to 14 stayed at work four years. But anyway, back to telling you my story, she, uh, she had lettuce patches, big ass lettuce patches. And I worked in the fields just right along with all the sub help like the Mexicans and, and the aliens, I guess they call them, the immigrants, poor immigrants. And uh, that's where I got my dose of, uh, of them damn uh, hard ass fields and cutting lettuce and putting them in boxes. And uh, they pack them out. Anyway, he owned thousands of acres of damn lettuce and, and uh, vegetable patches. And then he died. And then she moved out towards the coast, out by Vallejo, and married a guy that owned the oil refinery. They got acquainted with her because she cook, and uh, she had a little, like a, a cook stand or like what they call now is a what they call it, food on wheels or some shit like that. But she'd set up a little old restaurant or. A little hole in the wall, but she had plenty of that money. And she she cook, and boy, she could cook. And they cut, and she'd make pastries and stuff. She learned me how to make uh, chocolate covered cherries. And there ain't nothing as good as a homemade chocolate covered cherry. Yeah. And then she learned me how to make cherry mashes, which you put nuts on them, you roll them in nuts. Like a cherry, like a chocolate covered cherry with nuts all the way on the outside. The mashes, like the chocolate mashes you get today, ain't nothing like a homemade one. Uh, I think they was called a cherry mash, something like that. I used to like them when they was, had real cherry inside, and now they're just uh, cherry flavored sugar. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, I told him, I said, hey, Belle, how come you keep losing husbands? And her biggest problem, she'd set out seven course meals for breakfast, seven different kinds of meat. She'd have potatoes, and she'd have pancakes, sausage, bacon, 
She fed him to death. Well, that's over. She, back in the days, hell, they didn't diet. They, she married a guy one time, he weighed about 100, I don't know, 65 pounds. Damn guy, that weighed back 385, 400 before you got overweight and died. She made sure they was well fed. She lived way up in her 90s. Yeah, way up in her 90s, 98, I think. They buried her. What the hell they buried her at? It's at Joaquin Valley somewhere. Oh, I was married that by that time. Well, I'm going to check this out, see how these cameras work. You guys have a great day. Stay tuned, and I'll tell you some more bullshit. I ain't going outside, that's too damn hot. The lawn people are supposed to come. Chris is going to supervise again. I ain't doing shit. I ain't going out of this house. Except maybe go to the door and let my dogs help. <laughs> they don't stay out in about five minutes. You guys have that great day, though. Remember to be kind and considerate all living things. If you believe in reincarnation, you might come back as a lower life form. So be kind to them. Take care.